Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. I'm a tarot card reader, animal communicator, and mindfulness transformation coach using hypnosis, EMT, NLP, EFT, tapping, all the good stuff. So I'm using the um, Tarot of Dreams deck by Tito Marchetti. This is your new moon manifesting spread for the collective for October the 16th. It is a Friday, if I did my math right, um, and it's a great time to manifest and create something. This is one of my favorite spreads because of the imagery that goes along with it and that it's short, it's sweet, it's simple. So the intention I set for us as you're watching this and just take a couple deep breaths is that we would move from false beliefs, illusions, and ignorance into truth with love, kindness, and compassion. I set the intention that we would resonate, operate, and vibrate in the highest frequency of that divine source, that pure white light, love, God, goddess energy that we can. I call in any and all of your, my angels and guides and those we work with on the other side, whether we know who they are or not, into this time that we share together, as long as they stay in high vibration. I set the intention we would receive healing, guidance, confirmation, grounding, centering, balance, peace, harmony, alignment, joy, abundance, love, great care, compassion, health, wellness, safety, courage, and encouragement. All of this for a highest good and greatest growth, I say, and so it is. So as I shuffle the cards, setting the intention, that's my power that I in invoke on these cards for this time. So the first card is the seed, and the seed, this is the inspiration for us, collective, to nurture. Three of swords, releasing letting go, nurture that pain that's deep in the heart. Notice she's got like both hands right over her heart. Sometimes in mindfulness, that's one of the best things you can do is literally just place both your hands over your heart and just acknowledge your heart is right there. It is beating. It brings you into the moment. So with her, this person, I would say definitely find the Libra balance um, for yourself and just releasing the tears, any of the pain and the frustration that may come during this cycle of, you know, of manifesting. And then the soil, second card. This is what you want to surround yourself with to nurture this growth. Four of Wands, surround yourself with this beautiful Aries energy. Aries energy came up a lot in the uh, Mercury Retrograde spread that I've done. And this is house, this is home, this is transformation. You can see the, the doors being busted open, the fire coming out. So as we've been on lockdown, many people in life has really changed. This could be about how we've transformed within our private space, our private home, within our family. You know, the loss, the pain, the whatever, and now we're transforming and coming out. Card number three, the stones. This is what you want to find and discard or get rid of death. This is very much, Vir um, not Virgo, Scorpio energy. And for me, death is, and most readers, is about transformation. You know, it is about an ending and then something new. You know, think of the caterpillar going into the cocoon. It completely dies to itself, turns to mush, comes out a butterfly. So this is a definitely about a transformative time. So what to finally get rid of? The, the death part of it, the transformation part of it. And, and how do I put that into terms? And I'm asking spirit as I'm saying this, because I'm like, that's a really odd one to pull for. What do you want to get rid of? And I do feel like this is, okay, thank you, spirit. Um, get rid of yet discarding another person, another thing, another event. Um, be very conscious of as we're going through, and this is a new moon on the 16th, and we're coming up on, you know, big elections and all this stuff in, in USA um, and, and stuff around the globe. So we may be in that, you know, cancel culture, you know, ending, you know, unfriending type place. And, and we might need to pull back from that death ending, getting rid of right now during this manifesting. Because what we might be manifesting might be part of a renewal of that thing, that person, that relationship. Rather than just cutting them off and, and discarding them, we might be able to resurrect it, so to resurrect it, so to speak. So very interesting card coming up right there. Now the sun card, card number four. This is the advice that's going to be most beneficial. Three of wands, and I love this. This is more Aries energy. This person is sitting expecting and waiting so I would say and look it's almost like the sun is just beaming down on this person on the dock waiting for the ship to come in so the advice most beneficial continue to stay expectant continue to say um, positive I believe I believe that is the sun symbol in, in astrology I'm not good with the with the planets and stuff but it's definitely Aries so the advice, sit with it a little bit, you know, and welcome it, invoke this peace, this new learning, this understanding. This is something I believe that you wish for and long for, and it's finally coming, and I don't want you to cut it off too soon with the death card there. And then the bloom. This is the best manifestation of your current inspiration, or what we might call the outcome. Ah, oh, Empress, another three. Another three, very much Venus energy. 
very much earth energy. And this is birth starts and beginnings. You know, I love that she's holding this baby that's kind of glowing with light. So it, for me, it's almost like the boat is delivering the baby or the boat has the woman on it. And this person is longing and expecting, you know, the Empress coming in. So I really like how this ended. No cups in this spread. Two wands, a sword. Um, no coins either. So there's no feminine aspect to this spread other than the image of the two women. So no coins, no cups, which is feminine energy, but, you know, a sword and two wands. And then two major arcana. The major arcana are three, um, Empress, and uh, 13, Death, which is four. So, oh my God, I just realized. Three of swords, three of wands, Empress, three. So many threes. And then the other two cards are fours. So there's two fours and three three threes. So fours are solid, grounding, practical. Threes are creative expression, optimism, just this playful funness. So, all right, there's your new moon manifesting spread. I feel like the outcome looks really beautiful. Um, I think the thing that might trip us up is the stones, what to finally get rid of that death card coming up. And the spirit just told me I can pull a card for clarification on the death card of what to find and get rid of. Ah, this whole juggling and picking which side you want, which one you want. You know, it's okay. Bring bring both the two coins down. You know, and there's a little feminine energy finally coming in from the coins. So working with that death energy. All right. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. Bye-bye.